I'm Coach Toyel Wilson, and I got next. You next up and you ain't been on sports like talk like what are you doing <laughs> hey you better hit him up look you breaking next and you up next keep the queens go hard rise and star on the big scene make them know who you are you don't break a sweat don't settle for less they put you through that test your resume that flex who got next who got next slt ready to say go who got next who got next living my dreams and all your goals who got next who got next you can ask me joke or head coach who got next who got next SLT Nation! Welcome back to another fire episode of Sports Life Talks. You got next a platform that gives exposure to the voices of tomorrow. That's right. This is our third season of going around the communities and finding rising stars who are doing big things and living out big dreams. And today, we at home now. That's right, DFW. It feels so good to be back on the block and represent one of our very own in the community who is a sensational head coach and rising star doing big things with the SMU women's program. Six years experience in HBCU, but total of 20 years. So y'all about to get some gems some absolute dimes today. Let's make some noise for the head coach of the women's program over at SMU, Tanyelle Wilson. <laughs> coach, did I say what's that correct? Is it is, is Tanyelle? Yes, what's going on? Right, I got it right. Coach, we're super excited to have you on the show. And uh, we, we, we about to have a banger today. But before we get started, for all of y'all that are new to the program, thank you so much for rocking alongside your boys. I am your host, the mouth of the South B. Jones, the OG, all things Louisiana. I'm gonna put your L's up, Mr. Yeet is in the building and I'm riding alongside my brother from another mother, the other side of the logo, the choir storm. <laughs> the coach, <laughs> the, the assistant coach, hey KT, how you doing, Kev? Why well, I got to be the assistant coach, B Jones? It, it clearly says the head coach under my title, but you know what? I'll take that because we got a dope coach on the show. So do whatever you want to, B Jones. Yes, yeah, she is. Yes, yeah, she is. But B Jones, I do want to call coach out a little bit, man. I want to call out. Okay, what's up? It took us like two years to get on the show, B. Jones. Oh, this has been like two years in the making. Man, <sighs> see, what, see what happened with COVID, you know? <laughs> yeah, we're going to blame COVID. That's what we're going to do. We're going to blame COVID. All right. No, B. Jones, no, man, no. Every, anything worth having is, is worth waiting for, you know? Now, it's that's true. a fact. That I'm really true. excited to be on. Y'all been doing an amazing job, and I've been seeing y'all, and so I'm glad we just finally got to hook up and connect. Uh, we're gonna do big we're gonna do some big things, coach. We we finna we finna shine in uh in the brightest star on the block is SMU basketball. I can't wait to come see your team play, but we're gonna talk about come that on, in anytime. Season. We got a ticket wait for y'all. Come hey. on, bring anybody you want. I got y'all. You can look at that. Hey, I, I, I love this, man. All right, coach. Before we get started though, we got we gotta strap up. All right, so here we go. Reach reach over your right shoulder, coach. And I need you. I need you to pull. I need you to pull that strap across and buckle yes. up, because this ride is about to be crazy. Hey, before we get started, we gotta pay the bills real quick. So all of our SMU fans, all of our DFW, whether they're all stars, whether you're a basketball player, with all, regardless, we need you to show us some love and help us to keep this amazing momentum. Coach just told y'all big things popping over here with Sports Life Talks, so and we need your help, and we need you to do it in three ways, three free ways. The first one. We need you to smash that subscribe button, all right? Become a part of our family. Help the numbers keep growing so more and more people have the opportunity to see this. And we can keep getting amazing people like we got today. Number two, we need you to hit that like button. Hit it as many times as YouTube or the algorithm will let you hit it because this show is going to go in the algorithm and just... 
Just bubble right on up to the top. Thanks to your love and your like, all right? And then lastly, sharing is caring. There are people in your contacts right now. All you got to do is take that link, copy, and paste it into your phone and send this out to as many people. Send it to your, your family group. Send it to your church group. Send it to everyone, your travel group. Send it to all your folks so that they can check out Coach Wilson and this amazing SMU program. Coach, is SMU going to rock with us? We rocking with y'all. All right, we Mustang Nation. Let's do it like we true to it. On the count of three. One, two, three. Boo! Let's get it. Welcome to the Sports Life Talk family. If you smash that subscribe button, welcome to the family. We appreciate you so much. Around here, KT and I, we don't do fans. We, we, we only do family, all right? We don't do no fans. We do family. So when you see us at SMU or on the campus or at the local events, holler at your boys. Hit us up. Slide in our DMs. It don't matter. We are very accessible. Now, with that being said, Coach, it is your moment of truth. Are you ready for the Sports Life Talk initiation? I'm ready. I'm ready. All, all right, Coach. To initiate you into the SLT family, you got to give us your top five music artists. All right, y'all ready? I got Beyonce. You know, she on that tour right now. She's killing it. Um, Usher, he's in Vegas. He's killing it. You know, I'm going to take it back a little bit. I love Luther. Skinny Ooh. Luther and Big Luther. I like them both. Okay? I'm a, I'm a very Luther Vandross fan. So if you know anything, y'all going to be like, okay, yeah, she. I know every Luther song. My mom loved Luther. That's, that's my people. Um, I'm gonna go with Alicia Keys, Alicia Keys, and I'm gonna go with a little bit of a new artist. I, I really love like Cardi B swag and and what she's doing right now. So um, I like those those three females and those two guys. Well, Coach, we like to rank everybody's top five, and the highest you can get is five. But there's no way with first of all that top five was fire, B Jones, and and you're a dope coach. So and it's taking us so long to get you on the show yes. so i gotta treat you right i gotta treat you right how long has she been coaching me 20 years in the game fam you think you got 20 in you i got 20 in me i got a good crispy give a 20. 20. Let's, give a, let's give a 20. <laughs> all the money gone <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, hey, she already said she gave us some tickets before we go to SMU, B. Jones, so we, we taken care of, so we good. All right, so who is your favorite superhero and why? Who? let's go with um, Black Panther. You know, um, I think, yes, you already know, y'all already know, you know? I think, you know, just, just what, what that Black Panther did for us culturally, um, how it just propelled us and a lot of people didn't, you know, know about that culture and our culture and for all different genres of people to come out and, and support that that character really put us on the map and so um i would love to to meet and be a black panther all right t'challa since every good superhero needs their own theme music what would your theme song be you know what here i go with coach prime here i go oh, look look at me look at me <laughs> That's That's my my now coach you know where that come from right you know what you know what state produced that hit record who oh louisiana Lord. Lord. nobody cared about the information we didn't need nobody right. cared about that look he's just trying to pub the state it's okay they look they don't got that many people they got a pub whenever they can hey, we, hey i'm trying to we got to be proud of what we got to be proud of, because I swear it ain't, it ain't much going on in the state of Louisiana, other than a few few big things. So, but uh, but coach, I love that mystical. I love that mystical. All right, okay. All right, coach. So yeah. later on in the show, we're gonna play a game, our version of Would You Rather. So I'm gonna give you a little sample of it right now. This this could be way better later on. Would you rather be a singer or a dancer? Singer. CB Jones, everybody want to sing, man. You don't want to dance. Coach, coach over the snatch. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm not a really good dancer, but I, you know, I'm not really. My voice is raspy too, so. But I can sing them Luther hits anytime you need me. Let me go. I'll be, I'll be listening to D Nice. I'll be singing. I'll, I'll be singing. All right. So, what is something that basketball has taught you that you can use when you're not on the court? Um, I definitely would say, say hard work, but dedication and perseverance because I think that basketball sets you up for life outside the court and I tell our kids all the time life lessons of being disciplined 
of being dedicated, time management, being on time. A lot of the things on the court and everything you do on the court translates to off the court. So I would definitely say um, those three things. You got to be committed. You got to be dedicated. You got to be um, on time. You got to work hard. Nothing comes easy. I mean, think about it. Student life is hard. But being a student athlete is even harder. And so if you can take on that, you can take on anything, really. All right. So what advice would you give your younger coaching self? And it's a second part to the question. I want you to be honest. Could 18-year-old Toy Yale play for Coach Wilson? That's a good question. So I would definitely say uh, the first part of that is um, you belong. Um, a lot of people think, you know, you're not successful early. You make a lot of mistakes. You're, there's highs and lows to this whole game. And you sometimes doubt yourself. And, and, you know, a long time ago, somebody told me, you belong. Don't ever think you don't belong where you are and, and what you're doing in this life right now. And so I kind of carried that with me through all the highs and lows and what I've done in my career and to know that I belong and I belong here and, and to have faith in yourself. Um, with the 18-year-old Coach Choi L play for Coach Wilson today, for sure. I think I always had a tough coach on me, a coach that loved me, um, was tough on me on the court, but also loved me hard off the court. And that's how I am with my players now. I'm big on the player relationship. I'm big on, you know, I can know who you are, KT. I can know who you are, BJ, as a basketball player if I watch you, but I don't know who you are as a person. So for me, the biggest joy mm. that I get is the relationship part because I might not know who the person is. I can know who you are as a basketball player. She can shoot, she can dribble, she can this, she can that. But I don't know what her favorite food is. I don't know what her favorite movie is. I don't know what, she, what pushes her buttons. What can I motivate her? It might be something different from BJ to KT. So I like to learn a person for a person. And, and that's how I recruit. Coach, that was the whole purpose of this show. We need we might need to take that and turn it into a commercial. That's exactly what this was for. I know a clip we're using, B. Jones. For real. <laughs> All right, Coach. So B and I, we're going to produce a movie centered around you. The one thing that we're missing is a lead actress. Who should we get to play you in the story of your life? Sana Lathan. Oh, see, I struggle with this one. I went with Gabrielle Union on this one, Kevin. I, I've been hey. trying to fit Gabrielle in, and this is the one I, 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 I was. I was like, I got. I see Gabrielle in this one. And you That's know what so I'm gonna say about Gabrielle. You know what I'm gonna say about her. She needs no, the money because her and D Wade go fifty fifty on everything. So we probably can get her on the cheap. So yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a real good one. I, you know, it's funny. Um, I've been told a, a couple times I look like Gabrielle Union a couple times to not late. Then I like a Nia Long too. You know, um, see Nia Long. Those three, I would, I would say definitely are would portray me in a movie. I would go I got, for Nia Long. I got a ringer. The reason I didn't say my ringer was because she a little bit darker than you. But you watched the TV show Insecure. Oh yeah, I've seen that. Her best friend Molly. You know her best friend Molly. She got. She kind of got an athletic build. Well, well, all right. I, yeah, I, I, I can I, see like I, an athletic build. What I'm gonna do after I'm done my workout tonight, I might come back and check it out and try and find all right. it. Okay, okay. It. My girls be talking about it, so I don't really. I don't got time to watch shows. It's hard, ain't it, ain't coach? When you work, that's why we will we'll watch the shows for you, and then we'll give you a summary of it. Just let us know. <laughs> all right, so coach, this is probably the most important question I'm going to ask you during the initiation. Okay. Mm -hmm. When we come to SMU to check you out, we got to get something to eat first. So what's that one food spot that gets your stamp of approval and what's your go-to meal there? Hmm. All right. I don't know what y'all kind of food y'all like, okay? Because I know in Texas, they always say Mexican. You know what I mean? Coach, food. Food is what we eat. Anything you name, we eating it. There's this Jamaican spot, but it ain't in Dallas, though. It's near my house. That's cool. Okay. I got to chunk, yo, this Jamaican spot is low-key. But it's real Jamaicans in there. And I get the jerk chicken. It's off the chain. The two sides I get, mac and cheese and the cabbage. And I even add the plantains. I was just oh, about to say, do you get the plantains? Okay. And, you know, I'm not no awesome. Real, I probably got to text y'all this real for real, for real, for real. Y'all got to go even before y'all come and, help chat and hang with me. <laughs> y'all need to go before y'all hang with me because they got the curry chicken, the curry goat. They got the uh, oxtail. They got it, and they're Jamaicans and they ain't no different races up in there making Jamaican food. I got you. Yeah, that's another clip I'm chopping up for them. I think I, they'll appreciate that because she plugged the <laughs> out of there, didn't she? Pure heat. <laughs> they got me hungry all at the same time. I ain't hey, and I love spicy food. I'm like a spicy connoisseur. So I'm making stuff extra, extra spicy. I love it. And you know, Louisiana, let me give you a little shout out. I like the spiciness. So 
you know. Coach, throw your. No, I ain't going to make you throw. You no, asked me. We ain't throwing no. She ain't throwing no. Yeah, that's yeah, what I'm yeah, that's what I say. Paul. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm not going to push it, coach. <laughs> it, took us, it took us two years to get you. I ain't going to push too hard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so if you hit that subscribe button or thinking about doing so, please do leave us your top five music artists, your theme song, and your favorite superhero in the comments. And finally, go to our website, sltugotnext.com, to learn more about us and our other You Got Next family members. Now, allow me to turn over to B and our newest play cousin, Coach Toyell Wilson. So, B Jones, go ahead and take it away, brother. Coach Wilson, you ruined me for this show. All I can think about is plantains and jerk chicken. <laughs> hey, that place is called Rollins, by the way. I hey, didn't say Rollins. Oh, called good, good call. Good call. Good call, Coach. Rollins, because I'm telling you, now I'm hungry. But you know what else I'm hungry for, Coach? I'm hungry for some Ws. I'm hungry for, for some outstanding women's oh, yeah. basketball right here in the Dallas-Fort Worth community, which I personally feel is the most outstanding sports community in the world, it don't get no better from an amateur and a professional aspect. And coach, but we got to talk. We got to talk a little bit about Voorhees Township. You know what I'm saying? We got to talk a little bit about you coming up in the basketball game because I heard the Jaspers had them a defensive player of the year at, at one point in time. So tell us what what was your what was your basketball story and when did you fall in love with the game? Well, you know, when I first grew up, I was born in Camden and born and I was raised in Voorhees. And so I first started running track. And so everybody was like, you know, what? you'd be really good on a basketball career. I didn't start basketball till late, about fifth grade. And I would always travel because, you know, you hold the ball and you think you still on the track. And I always be travel, but I was big on defense. I will always get up in somebody's stuff, pick them up full court. Like, let me pick them real quick and get that little layup on. I was an elite layup maker. So um, I played and I got seen by a few colleges and I got offered by about 10 to 12 colleges, D1 schools. And I wanted to stay kind of close to home to my mom who raised us. And um, so I went to Manhattan College, which was about an hour and a half away. And I have a twin sister. She went to Rutgers. So we were kind of near each other. Yeah, there's two of us in this world. Ain't that crazy? Double trouble. Wait a minute. Do y'all look alike, Coach? What is that called? Fraternal? Yeah, no, that's identical. We're fraternal. Okay, so y'all look di y'all look different. You'd be like, oh, they're sisters, but not twins. You wouldn't. Well, which one is older though? Which one is older? He is by one minute. Oh, go! <laughs> <That's okay. laughs> look, 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 look! I always say you got to make a rough draft before the final copy. So you know. Um, <laughs> but, you know so we, uh, I played ball in New York, and um, so I was going to go into the business. I have a business degree, and so I was going to go into the business world. And my my coach left Manhattan and went to coach Robert Morris, and he was like, "At you led on the court." You were a leader off, off and on the court. Um, you really know the game. You have a basketball IQ. Would you want to come coach? I was 21 and I'm like, dang, the senior's going to be older than me. You know, but I started coaching straight up coaching college, not even as a GA or a double, nothing. I was an assistant coach at 21 and um, I've been coaching 20 years and that's been my story. I've just been coaching. I love the game. I love impacting young ladies' lives, staying around the game, being able to wear Nike gear, sneakers, kicks, all that kind of stuff. And being able to do something you love, you know, a lot of people go to work because you got to live. You got to go to work. You might hate, might hate it, but you got to go because you got to live. And I get to do something, my passion, what I love to do every day. Um, it's a blessing. I'm grateful and um, I enjoy what I do. Man, favor ain't fire, isn't it, Kevin? Co Coach, we didn't have folks who had to work at the grocery store. We didn't have folks that had to work in elementary basketball school, I camp know. basketball. And then you got uh -huh. that shot straight off the rip. So, But you know what, Coach? Before we jump into to your college story or, or your coaching journey, I didn't know New Jersey had basketball like that, though. I'm, we just uh -huh. interviewed a young lady, uh, Gigi Battle, who plays for Rutgers Prep. And then she was talking about Morris Catholic. And it's about oh, yeah. four or five. That's a great program. Yeah. Hey, there were some schools up that can go. Like, yeah, were, were you part of? Were you were you like one of the founding members of that of that of that, uh, of that, of that basketball community up there in New Jersey? Well, I was in South Jersey, and like to, to be honest, my high school still hasn't won a conference championship since I was there. So that goes to tell you, it's like a lot of the talent. You know, you think you hear New York, you hear Philly, you know what I mean? But you hear Baltimore, DC area. Um, but Jersey still has their fair share of players and. Again, I was just blessed to be able to be seen and go into the right tournaments to be able to be seen by D1 schools. And so um, they are really coming up now. The players coming now, it's, it's ridiculous. That, that specific mindset. But I do want to ask you, Coach, you said you mentioned recruiting and uh, I saw a picture with you. And it looked like you was with a who's who. I mean, it, it, SMU is getting some dogs on campus to visit. Now, you got this new news that these girls are going to be able to play against some of the best players in the nation. 
I mean, mm. SMU ain't afraid. Y'all going after some of the biggest and brightest stars in, in the country. What's what's different about the, the recruiting over there at SMU than, than what we typically see at some of these other mid-majors or, 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 or P5 schools? Well, I think you have Dallas. And, and to be honest with you, you have the best of both worlds. At, at, at SMU, you have the best academics. We're basically in Ivy League. You have the best looking campus in a suburb of Highland Park. If y'all know, y'all know. Ooh. Highland Park, you got Jerry Jones that live out here. You got um, what's homeboy for the cowgirls that can't throw no more? Tony Romo. You know, but um, yeah, I'm an Eagles fan. If you ain't know, we play tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern. Yes, sir. <laughs> fly, Eagles, fly. Let's go. Yeah, I don't rock with the Cowboys. But anyway. Well, B. Jones, it was nice. Uh, you and Coach, y'all go ahead and do y'all thing, because I'm out of here. She ain't going to talk bad about my Cowboys. It's just kind of girls, girl. girls don't have to do that. Can't hey, throw. Y'all got a lot of stuff going on. I heard about Williams in the news today. I mean, y'all got stuff going on, but I'm going to let y'all make it. Um, anyway, so, but yeah, uh, SMU, I just think like our network, you got all these sports. It's the number one sports capital city like that's growing. Um, you got our facilities are power five. You got our uh, the, the look of our campus. I mean, we got, if you came on campus, y'all would be like, okay, now I see why the room is going around, what it's going around. But, you know, I just want to coach kids that want to win, that want to do something different, um, that want to make history, put us on the map. Um, but I, I want to compete. I love competitors. And if we do go to a different conference, a Power 5 conference, it's going to level us up even more. We're going to probably have to go in the transfer portal a little bit and get some of those kids at that level. But I just I'm really excited about where we're going and we're going this way. And so and that's what I came here to do. All right, Coach. Well, we want to we want to make sure that we give inspiration on each and every one of these shows. Your story is crazy. You got the opportunity to coach at the age of twenty one. You've been coaching, so we all know how old you are now, Coach, because we've been talking about the twenty years in the game. I know, right? I think I look. Everybody's like, you, I get carded all the time. They be like, you don't look over like twenty seven. I was like, I'm you don't, Coach. You don't. You still got it. You still got it. Right? I can say it out loud, but you know what it is. Yeah, yeah. All right, oh, but Coach, what's but up? Coach, you were. And when I saw this, I mean, it literally almost brought a tear to my eye. And I got to ask you, what does it mean when you got that call to get hired and they told you that you would be the first black female coach at the university or Southern Methodist University coach? What does that mean to carry that baton and then to look around the landscape? And you got other amazing queens and black uh, head coaches doing big things up there at Howard and Jackson State and, and Arizona with Adia Barnes or South Carolina. Coach, what does that mean to you to be a part of that sorority and to be the first black uh, female head coach at SMU? It's amazing. I mean, actually, I didn't even know the the black sat the, the the there's a black organization on campus, and they tweeted at me after I got the job, and I was like, "Whoa!" Like I didn't even know that because that's not my goal. My, you know, that wasn't what. First of all, I shouldn't have took that long, but you know, I didn't know that that you know that was the case, and, and it's just a blessing. I'm grateful, but you know, that goes to show you that I can have these other kids that look at me and be like, okay, well, if she the first, that she ain't going to be the last. And maybe I can do something that's never been done before. So for me, it's just helping somebody else to say, okay, my dream can come true of doing something that's never been done. And that's groundbreaking. I wonder how many other universities, and I, I wish somebody could fact check this for me, have never had a black female head coach. Like, that, that, that statistic that statistic may blow our absolute minds but we talked about recruiting we talked about you making history a little bit we got to talk about the mindset of this smu culture because uh we, when you when you see a coach that comes in and they put in in, in in their under their bio that they was the defensive player of the year like you got to know that this team got something special for you when you hit the floor with them it's got to be a certain mindset and there's certain things that you're going to push this team to be. So tell us tell us about that culture. What are we going to get out of this SMU program when we see your ladies hit the floor? Well, we got standards and we tell them you better have some grit. <laughs> you better have some commitment. You better have some fire and a little bit of in your neck. Um, but you got to come with that intensity and that fire. Like I want people that, that, that just want to compete. And when you get a competitor, that means it's very hard to compete. Somebody who loves to compete hates to lose more pride than they like winning. And so I want kids like that that just want to go out there, give their best, put when their two feet hit the floor, they perform on that court and give everything they have and kind of have that my personality that I have. I mean, that's my personality and everything I do. I'm high energy. 
Um, I'm an extrovert. Um, I, people are like, you drink coffee? No, nah, I don't drink coffee. Like I got that natural energy. I'm coming with everything every time I get on that floor because it can be taken away from you so quickly. And so you got to be able to basically relish and be grateful for when you do have those times on the court. And so I always tell our kids, like, it has to be a perspective thing. You know, we have a no complaining rule. Like we're got to be grateful for everything we have because there's somebody over here, over here over, that would love to be in your shoes. And so just, you know, that intensity, that defensive intensity, that, that grit, that fire, that just all that encapsulated. I need those type of kids. Now, coach, you 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 kind of you kind of got me. A, I, I'm like the hairs on my arms are raised up, but I'm a little scared of you. I'm not gonna lie. Coach, coach, coach. Hey, she's saying it with a very, very serious, intense uh, look in your eyes. But, coach, what would what would you t- the, the girls that play for you, the young ladies that play for you, your coaching staff, your colleagues? How would they describe Coach Wilson? They'd be like, Coach T is 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 she has, she's funny. But when she's serious when she's on the court, she's going to love you hard. She's going to coach y'all hard. Um, it's a family, though. I think that's the first thing they would say, to be honest with you. They're going to be like, you would never think that my coaches I never coached with before. Because you'd be like, damn, y'all have known each other all y'all lives? But that's just how we are as a family atmosphere. We go to, to have lunch together. We text. We have a text thread together. It's just a big family. Because I feel like if the kids see that the family up in the offices are together, that's going to help them be together. And so for me, I think it's just really, really amazing that you can impact all these different people's lives and be able to gel them together and potentially have best friends for the rest of your life. You know, so for me, it's a very I'm big on they'll tell you work life balance. Coach T don't play like she's big on like you're not going to let your, your work dictate your life. Like I'm never going to let them um, happen because at the end of the day, like we, we spend a lot of time away from our families now. So I'm big on work family balance and like hanging with your families, taking off, like getting out the office by three o'clock to not be in that Dallas traffic. We practice in the mornings. So like my coaches are out of there by four, three, four o'clock. And and I just I love again, I want people to love to come to work. I want to be like, oh, shoot, we got to go up here and be up here for 15 hours a day. Nah, I, I believe in quality, not quantity. And so you can do stuff at home. We can call recruits at home. We can be on this right now at home. Um, so as you can see, I'm at home. But um, you know, I just love what I do. And I love the people I work with. So, Coach, for my last question, and then I promise you we go, we're going to get to the game. When you got hired and you got that call, and they said you was going to SMU, was there any doubt in your mind? Like, hey, because did you know, like, the, you're, from, you're from New Jersey. So did you know Dallas was was the mecca or, or, or what it was when it came to amateur athletics and, and, and basketball and all things sports related? No, I really didn't. Like, you know, I was at Baylor for six years. So, I mean, I recruited in Dallas, you know, and then I was down at Purdue. So, you know, it was Houston. You know what I mean? That's so right. Like That's Houston, right. Great Dallas. So, but I thought, I really think Dallas is, is dope. I'm not going to say better than Houston because I don't want nobody to <laughs> But Dallas is super dope. It's super culturally diverse. It's so spread out. It's, you can find a different gym. I'm a foodie. I'm a big foodie. I cook, but I love the different places you can go eat. You can do a speakeasy. You can do a little vibe, a little lounge, a little. It's so much to do um dallas is 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 amazing it's for all ages and genres and it's just it's like a melting pot to be honest with you so i really i love dallas um i'm in a great area i live in farmer's branch it's it's a great area so i'm blessed yeah i i'll be honest i didn't know dallas was doing it like this when i first moved out here i came in 2008 and it changed my life forever i was like man i absolutely love this community and we love having coaches like yourself and represent the community because dfw deserves it they work hard and we got an amazing level of talent and it all starts over there at smu i can't wait to go see these these mustangs play hey, some basketball. come on first game november 5th or 6th uh come on through y'all come on through and get on the sideline be front row Whatever y'all want to do, I'll show y'all around, get a little tour. I got y'all. Yeah. Hey, can I hand out the towels though? I just want I want to hand out the towels to the to the players. <laughs> give give now them you the, too much, man. That now. Yeah, now no. you do it too much. You you gonna get us kicked out before we get in there. Can I hold the granola balls? You know, you know how y'all got the little snack packs over there for the kids. You got a strength and conditioning coach that do that. Oh. See. Oh, Lord. All right. Well, I just enjoy the game, Coach. I'll enjoy the game and all your intensity because y'all got to see Coach. I watch some highlights. Coach, you be over there animated. You, you be animated on that sideline. So I know you come off and with home, like you look, just and at, home we dress up. and at home we dress up. So I got to watch because I'll be stomping in the heels. One time I stomped on one of my Dobo's toes. She was like, ah, Coach, dang. <laughs> so, yeah, B. Jones, I, I saw her in person, man. So she's intense. I was scared to go talk to her. 
I was scared to go yeah. talk to her. So I'm glad. See why y'all why see why y'all dudes intimidate by you come on. Well, no, you were in your element. I'm just saying you were in your element. Come on, then I'll be like, look, after that, I'll be straight, different person. Be like, hey, what's up? What's up, KT? What's up? Well, well now we know that. that. I mean, it's safe to approach you now. <laughs> I can't wait to see you now, Coach. All right, Coach, let's have a little bit of fun. Welcome to the championship rounds. This is the part of the show. We're going to play a game. We're going to play our, annual, our, our, our normal sports life talk game. It's our version of Would You Rather. Have you ever played Would You Rather? Uh, other than the, the quick, you know, singing a dancing question that KT asked you. Do you no. Have you ever played this game before? No, come on. Let's right. be, I'm, I'm, I'm it's super excited. simple. Yeah, it's super simple. So what's about to happen is Coach KT, Coach KT and I are going to pre, uh, position three options to you, okay? Whichever one of those options you select, that host gets a point. The first host to get two points or the best out of three will win this game of uh, of championship rounds. And for those of you who've been rocking with us for a while, y'all, y'all, you know the ones that's watching episode back to back to back. <sighs> it's not looking good for me. It's not looking good for me. But today... When you got somebody in favor, I ain't foul. You heard me? When I heard that 21, without all that other stuff, I knew I, I said some mir- a miracle is going to happen on this game. So let's make history, Coach. KT, kick it off. Are you done, Keith Sweat? Because you sure was begging just then. You was trying to do a whole lot just then. I saw what you was doing, B. Jones. It's, it's okay. <laughs> House is not a home. And let's... <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's go ahead and move on. I don't want no more of that. All right, coach, would you rather coach a per- player that you recruited that no one gave them a chance, they make it to the Basketball Hall of Fame, and then their speech tells you they wouldn't be there without you, or or become known as a coaching factory where you hire GA, you hire a GA, they get out there, you teach them everything, they learn the ropes, they win rings, they come back and say, hey, I'm part of that Coach T blueprint, that part of that Coach T recruiting tree. So you become known as the master uh, mentor. Ooh. Let me go with, uh, mm, my man, BJ. Yeah! <laughs> Finally! <laughs> Finally, I got it round one. All right, we well, got to well, I gotta sing Luther. I gotta sing Luther to get some favor. Goodness. <laughs> wow. All right, here we go. Round number two, Coach. Would you rather have Netflix show up on the campus next Monday as the students all arrive? But we are going to film a two season documentary, kind of a last chance you documentary that tells the Mustang story. We're going to be in here when you're brushing your teeth. We're going to be in the coaches meetings, but we're going to highlight this program brick by brick or travel the world hosting your own food show on ESPNW where you get to interview other college coaches, you know, pick their brains. While eating at their favorite places to eat in the towns that they coach in. Travel the world. Oh, coach, we was that close. I'm a, I just listen. I'm a foodie. She just said I'm she's a foodie. A, and I'm a traveler. I, I just got back from Cabo. I've been to Barbados. I've been to Greece. I've been to Germany. I've been. I mean, that's. I mean, yes. That's sorry. That when he said travel and food, it was already one. I'm sorry. Yeah, when you when you said you was a food, that's why I tried to throw a little extra sauce on it. I tried to you throw that. Oh, did. I tried to, I tried to throw, put, put some of the Louisiana hot sauce on it, but it's all good, Coach. It's all good. Come on, KT. Round three. This is for all the marbles. I mean, the only thing you didn't give was a mansion for round two, B. Jones. I probably lost then. All Coach, right, so. With the mansion, I mean, what did it matter? No. <laughs> a Highland Park, <laughs> Park mansion <laughs> next to uh, Jerry Jones. All right, KT. I ain't there yet, <laughs> but best believe I ain't there yet. Yeah, you know she don't want to be next to Jerry Jones. All right, on our show, which you can watch Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Central Time, we have a segment called The Drop, where B. Jones turns shoe guru and presents a pair of shoes that he feels are worthy of your financial donations. So for round three, Coach, it has huge ramifications because whoever you pick is going to win this episode. So what we're going to do, we're going to show you a pair of shoes, we're gonna, and you're going to say, hold that sneaker, all right? Hold that sneaker. Whoever you pick wins this episode's game, okay? All right, you ready? I'm going to count down from three. Three, two, one. Hold that sneaker. Oh, she said it with energy, too. She said it with energy, too. Oh. Now, I like the the blue ones on the right. Yeah! Oh my God, that win felt so good. Oh 
Oh my God, we are back, ladies and gentlemen, just like that. The M O T. Hey, yeah, yeah. Here I go. Let's go. Let me take some side folks. Oh, oh, that was nah, I'm picking myself because I had another pair I should have went with. But B Jones, yeah, congratulations! Come on, what you should have gone with? Come, you, come on, I ain't like all them, the the black and the the red and the white. And that's that was too much. That was too much. Yeah, you no. should have done though. That's on you, man. Yeah, I should have. You know, you I live and you learn. Nothing, I like, and I don't have nothing with the blue like that. So that that. Because I looked at your shirt, and I said this would have been perfect for those. But this is about B Jones and his win. I won five straight. Just let everybody know. I just lost. Okay, yeah, whatever. Come, come on, we're going to we roll it. We're going to Rollins, everybody. Meet me at Rollins on Saturday at 6 o'clock. <laughs> <Coach T. Sinchin. laughs> For the celebration of this huge momentum, this momentous victory. All right, Coach, let's get back to some brass tacks. Let's get out of here this thing strong. We talked about the past. We talked about what you mean to the institution and in, in the school and the game of, of women's basketball. But now we got to tell everybody what's on deck for you. The title of the show is You Got Next. What's up next with Coach T? Well, just being honest, um, this season is my, 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 my third year, and I'm just really happy and excited to kind of keep going up. You know, we won 14 games my first year, 17 games my second year. Um, there's no limits to what we can do, and I tell our kids all the time, don't let somebody say because you're young or you don't have experience to let you be able to be okay with failure. Um, take everything as a challenge, and I just want to continue to grow, like keep growing, keep learning. Um, keep helping the people around me grow. Um, I just take everything day by day. And so I don't look too far ahead, um, but I know there's light at the end of the tunnel. I know there's something for me at the end of the tunnel. And so I'm just excited to be able to be coaching college basketball, do what I love. That's awesome. That's amazing, Coach. Now, I want to send a shout out to your assistant coaches before I before I give you the floor to, to, to mention them, because that's the question that's going to be about your assistant coaches. Now, I, I, don't, I don't usually tell on people, but we've been to Chicago. We've been to Louisville. We've been to like Bryan, Texas. You already know where I'm going. We've seen SMU coaching staff and your coaching staff is locked in. That same razor maniacal focus, they be locked in at every single event. So I want to send a shout out. But I am going to say this because Coach Parker checked me at the heart of Texas. And she knows she did because I, I was standing in her way. And she said she was going to come on the show when she never came on the show. So I need you to holler at Coach Parker for me. Can you do that? I got you. Yeah. DP's amazing. Um, she came over from the University of Houston. And she has that wisdom. She was actually at SME for 20 years. Wow. Um, before left, way before she left. So she's like the OG. I call her the yeah, OG. Yeah, yeah. Oh, when she um, do that thing, they were like, it was, it was, it was a mad level of respect for Coach for Coach Parker when she pulled up. But t but tell us about Coach Parker and the rest of your staff, Coach. That's that's the question I wanted to, to roll out there. Yeah, we got Anthony Anderson. He's from Sidell, Louisiana. He came from UTEP. He's amazing, hard worker, grinder, recruiting coordinator. Um, and then Danny Edwards, my other assistant, who came with me from Michigan. She's amazing, up and coming. She's young, but she's very bright, high IQ. I have the perfect village. All right, Coach, you got any shout-outs you want to give? Um, no, just, you know, SMU family, uh, the administration, everyone that supports me. I'm so thankful for you guys. I mean, you guys doing what you do and giving that exposure to my university, to me. Um, you know, everybody don't see the people always at the top, but what y'all are doing is, like, is amazing. It's so dope. And, and please, anytime I can help you guys, I'm for it. All right, so this is the part of the show where you get a chance to call the person that you think you have next. Tell me, I got a chance to rock with B. Jones and KT. Tell them my story. Why don't you do the same thing? With that said, Coach, who are you calling out? Who should have next? I'm saying Lynn Bishop, the new head women's basketball coach at SFA. Lynn, you on the clock, baby. Lynn, you are officially on the clock. Coach said it like it was me. I couldn't have said it any better. We're going to be reaching out to you. We're going to slide in the DMs, man. We, we pray that you uh, you come on the show, or bless us with some game, and tell us your incredible story. But, Coach, Toyel Wilson, you got next. You are a sensational coach. I love your energy. I love your vibe. I love what you're doing for the game. You are an inspiration. You are, you, you are an icon, a future phenom, and you are... Uh, extraordinary and elite. You deserve a yeet. yeet. Hey. Appreciate y'all. Hey, go follow Sports Life Talk. They're doing dope things on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok. Y'all go follow them because y'all might got next. Hey, Kevin. 
Uh, where are we sitting the check, Coach? Where are we sitting the check? Oh. <laughs> hey, I'm Yo. a natural, baby. I'm a natural, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, Rollins is on Kevin. Let's go. Hey, thank y'all for watching another fire episode of Sports Life Talks. You got next. Y'all can see. We just having fun, but we moving the culture. This right here is bigger than us, and we need your help so we can keep this amazing momentum going of 2023. And I tell y'all, for real, quit playing with us and start praying with us because 2024 season four is going to be madness. It's going to be epic. We got some heat for y'all. And as a matter of fact, I, I think we still probably got about 30 or 40 shows left in 2023 that y'all going to like and some big names coming as well. Just, just like we got today. So don't forget last call. SLT, uh, excuse me, sports life talk at sports life talk. All one word. That's our social media. Anywhere you want to go to it, we, we drop content every single day. Tap in with us, lock in with us, messages. It don't matter. I promise you, we are available and we're here to connect with the community and be a part of this conversation. And then if you want to be on the show, you know what I'm saying? Coach Bishop got the invitation, but if you're thinking to yourself like, man, I wish I could come on the show and tell my incredible story, go to our website sltugotnext.com Kevin and I spend a lot of time it's intentional and we have a tab on there that says nominate when you click on the nominate tab you're going to get you're going to get a thing all you got to do is fill it out tell us a little bit about who you are we're going to reach out to you we're going to give you an audition to be on the show it's just that jazzy it's just that easy this it's just that intense like coach Toy Wilson all right so so KT Man, what else? What am I missing? I'm super excited, man. You know, man, what I'm stop talking, man. I'm gonna just, just stop talking. Hey, coach, thank you so much for rocking with us. Whatever yeah, you need from us, right. please let us know. We got your back, okay? I'm on the moody and make some moody magic. Um, let's get sports life talk on that baseline, sideline, whatever line y'all want to be on. And um, if y'all want to get on the court and shoot some hoops, we can play horse too. If y'all feel like losing, let me get that little bro that, that thing on your shoulder. I can get and get that belt. We want to do a little horse, a little. One on one, let me know, okay? But now, like, hold on, we ain't playing on one on one. I'm too old to play one on one, but I go with horse. I play in horse. The invite's now, always coach, there, y'all. Come on, coach. I'm despicable at basketball. I ain't, I ain't even gonna waste your time. I'm worse. I'm worse. <laughs> I'm worse than worse. I'm trash. But KT, he's supposed to have he's supposed to have dynamite in them fingers, okay? okay. KT, he knows that. Stop running. You saw me shoot before. Come on now, just give okay. give your boys a pop. Hey, refresh my memory. See you on the court. Oh, we coming. We coming. Somebody get the camera crew. This is going to be an epic show when we get out there to SMU. Look at you. Look at you. It's the mother heard all of a sudden, B. Jones. Goodness. All right, KT, man. Let's get out of here. Coach Wilson. Here I go. The man right chill. Let's go. Hey, Sports hey, Life Talk Nation. Hey, we love y'all. Stay safe. Be blessed. Respect each other and love one another because together we are better and keep dreaming big because you never know. Your story may be the next one featured on Sports Life Talks. You got next. Yeet. See what's crazy is I knew you had next because you always working, you always grinding, you're in your bag because you're always working. Like in due time, I just I knew you got next. Oh, you did it, huh? Crack the code. You got next, you smashing goals. You want next, you need exposure. Well, sports like talk got the baddest show, like the baddest hut in the room. Podcast to tune into just for you to talk your shit. Talking mushroom, you want what you eat and you should consume. Sports like talk from the late night to the afternoon, then rest repeat. Hit the like, leave a comment, or subscribe so you don't miss a beat. You got next. It's a small taste of a winning meal from a chef type of celebrity. What's up next is you, at least you better be. Yeah, you got next, yeah. I can feel it, you're a winner just like me. You got next, and what comes next? Tune in next time and you'll see. Cause if you got next, yeah, if you got next, if you got next, then you're just like me. If you got next, if you got next, yeah. Sports life talking this Yeah, 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 yeah Sports life talking this